Free to play today is everywhere. Everybody knows it's, it's cool, it earns a lot of money, it is growing. The analysts uh, can fetch you very insight, insightful graphs uh, and analytics and projections how uh, free to play online is growing, how it is going to overcome consoles. Those graphs usually are like very, very detailed. I, mm, I'm asking you to have a look at this one. This is a very important graph, and you should pay attention to it. Nah, I'm just kidding. We just Googled crazy graph <laughs> <laughs> to fill in this space uh, here. Uh, actually, just a few uh, statistical things and charts you need to remember. Well, first of all, the market is huge. Uh, they say in, 15, in 2015 it will be 9.5 billion uh, US market. Well, what if it's 9.4? Does it change anything? Well, what even if it's like 7.3? Still, it's huge. It's billions of dollars. Rumor has it that uh, a small company had a small game called Clash of Clans, right? And they're making, the rumor has it, they're making from half a million to one million US dollars per day. Can we believe that? I think yes, we can. If you take free-to-play concept, which means no payment upfront, put it on a computer, in a browser, or on a client, just, just make a decent game, maybe even okay game, maybe even low quality game, you still have a chance. Then you shape your global or local strategy smartly, whether you cater in, in Hong Kong or in, in, in Finland or, uh, or do it globally. And a lot of money, possibly, you have a chance to earn as much money as a classical, old-school, Western, independent game developer would never imagine he can earn millions and millions of dollars. It's easy to understand. You just take a free-to-play concept and make it very quality triple A. So that, that's, that's the only way you can kind of dominate the market and uh, survive on it. If you gracefully uh, combine and balance that no pay to win, no easy money, secret formula, and all those production values, you have a good chance uh, to have a game where your players, all of your players, are happy and millions of new players come in and they, everyone become even more happier. Then monetization uh, and success comes more naturally. Uh, $7.50, this is our uh, average revenue per active user in the United States. So you can do the math. If you have 1 million users, just multiply that. If you have 10 million users, you have every month 10 times more money. And the same for lifetime, right? One month is 7.50. So if he stays for two years, that's quite a lot of money. That's what we call lifetime value. We're very close in Russia to be like Harley, to be like Harley Davidson for America. So people you know, wearing t-shirts very proudly, they, they decorate their cars. If you get to that point, this is cool. So you need to be, uh, you need to be thinking more in, in terms of not just a game and a service to get some money and get out. Uh, if you manage to build something like, uh, like the brand, the global brand, like Apple, uh, like Coca-Cola, then there's going to be a lot of benefits. Let's battle. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Allison Bray. And I'm Joel McHale. And subscribe to ENT TV. It's just ENTV for all your entertainment news. No, it's E E N T V. It's just E N T V, so whatever. It's E N E N T E V E. Unless it conflicts with any thing, channel or company we work for. I'm Allison Bray. Signing off.